So we're doing a fuzzy logic application in Flask. We have code we generated in the past, but that code has quite a few issues. I will share the code with you in a bit and we either have to fix it or produce prompts as to how to generate a similar code and we will start uh, generating this code from scratch so gpt is keen to help that's great once you generate specific prompts we also have access to github copilot so we might be using that as well okay so we have the html great i see the html code for your fuzzy logic waveform detector yeah, let's run it run the flask application can show it to the bot as well yeah, it doesn't fit the screen this is currently what the front panel looks like there are a couple of issues with it if basic things like all the charts do not fit the one screen and uh, more importantly that the detection of the fuzzy logic is incorrect we would like an option to improve upon it from within the front panel keep calling them front panels because that's what they used to be called in lab view as love you <laughs> love you <laughs> lab view <laughs> lab view yeah we we have uh, a css we can do we can deal with it later but yes we do like to review and refine the membership function parameters and modify the fuzzy rules the noise addition uh, no we made sure it's not distorting the signal too much uh, user feedback is a nice idea but then we can just in the code have a calculation for correct responses which can be easily tested by looking at the name of the input signal and matching it, matching it with the output and note about the input and output strings the input strings have you can just check in the code but for example they have a left trapezoid right trapezoid and the trapezoid whereas the output is more of a family of the signal it should be returning trapezoid for all these three inputs yeah i would like to do refinement and modifying fuzzy rules eventually but we would like a more systematic way of doing it the current display of the fuzzy logic settings doesn't seem complete we also have a problem in the percent detection error measurement another thing is that the output wave called undefined should affect the percent unknown in the detection error and the unknown percentage over time it doesn't seem to work at the moment we might also want to adjust the names uh, use unknown instead of undefined as the output waveform are you going to generate the code or are we getting github copilot to do it good luck with your refinements good luck with your refinements so it's telling me what to do obviously <laughs> it does it seems like it doesn't plan to generate uh, generating any code uh, that's unfortunate uh, <laughs> we might force force you to or um, use uh, copilot yeah that seemed to be a simple task for copilot i just realized that the undefined is actually coming from the code from the execution of the code it's an actual error it seemed to be an error but that's one that's only happening sometimes it's not happening for all uh, input waveforms actually most input waveforms work okay okay there's actually too many issues with this 
code can we use a different approach I'm more inclined to restart the whole development from scratch could you generate prompts for github copilot so we have we happy with those as they are maybe except the triangles so the triangles should be look more like triangles now the noise amplitude we need to make sure it's actually going to zero that the slider goes to zero do we need the input sets as well or not yes we'll do error handling maintaining a robust version control system remember to take breaks stay hydrated and keep moving